Positively Muskegon. It's Andy O'Reilly, and today I am at the comfortable confines of the Roosevelt Park. Uh, what do we call this? Council Chambers? Yeah. I'm here every other week. I mean, I ought to know that by now. Jared Olson is my guest today, and we are, well, we're inside because it's a little rainy, but it's not going to rain on September 8th. Nope. September 8th, guaranteed sunshine. You, he said it, not me. It's uh, Roosevelt so. Park Day coming up. First of all, thanks for coming back. Thank you. It's, uh, we, you were brand new into the role last year as we were kind of getting ready for Roosevelt Park Day. Give me a little update on Roosevelt Park and I, how it's gone since. I will. Roosevelt Park has been wonderful. Um, Roosevelt Park Day last September 9th was a huge success. Yeah, we did good. Um, now, Mother Nature helped us out on that one too. Yeah, 72 nice degrees <laughs> and the sunshine. Uh, we're hoping for the same thing this year. Uh, we had changed things around. From the downtown portion on Broadway, we moved it to our community center park with food trucks and a little bit different vibe. Um, free kids events last year were a huge hit. Um, so this year we've, we've kind of grown on the really good successes of last year. And it was a fun event last year. I mean, you know, historically, you come back to when I first moved to Muskegon, and I'm going to give you the, the, the quick short story of it. They gave me a list of all the different town festivals and beer tents and everything else that was going on. And Roosevelt Park was really one of the pinnacle events of all of Muskegon back then. We're talking 10, 15 years ago now. And so much went into it. They had the Las Vegas night, they had the band, they had the Station Grill all in play, they had all of Broadway filled up and all this other kind of stuff. But as time went on, little bits and pieces of that all kind of went away. Um, it got harder to do the Las Vegas night thing, that parents group that put it on. Um, their kids kind of all graduated high school and, and you know, things just change over time. So Roosevelt Park Day in and of itself was was kind of doing that a little bit. I mean, it's still a nice day, but it needed to, to make a shift and, and have a different flavor and different thing put on it. So as a group, we kind of did that all last year with a, a new vibe with the food trucks and a lot of other kind of stuff. Um, and I think it worked out pretty good. Mm -hmm. It wasn't perfect for a first year. We, there's some improvements that could be made, but we, I think we've got those under control. Yeah, we, we certainly have growing pains. Yeah. Uh, we experienced those, for, uh, to say the least, growing pains. Uh, we have more kids events. That was one of the things we had talked about was, was more kids events. Lewis Farm is coming with their yeah, candy cannons. It's going to be a big deal. Which Lewis is a good is. thing. I know a guy that works up there. He's a big deal. He does these pig race things. People love him. They come from miles. Mm -hmm. That's what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> so so that um, we've got some great sponsorships this year sure. um, that, that are helping us keep some of our old main, main stuff. Um, the beer garden, we have replaced the beer tent with the beer garden down sure. at the park. Uh, it looks like Pigeon Hill will be doing a, a special Roosevelt Park day beer for us cool. um, that will be on tap at the the beer gardens we have added an, another band one of the things we found last year was that ending it at six was a little too early, we, little early. Yeah. we were lucky to have people that that wanted to continue to to listen to music and enjoy the day in the park sure. and enjoy the community um, so we're going to go a couple hours later this year cool we've added not just trace as a band so Love those guys they'll be playing in the middle of the afternoon after the mona shores fiddlers play cool um, our food vendors are looking up from last year last year we had 10 food vendors at this point we are already have that um, we should have significantly more than we did last year and room for more and room for more so if you're watching and you got a food truck or a trailer or any of that kind of stuff get a hold of that Roosevelt Park website we'll put the link right here yep. and get you in on this because yep. it's a big growing event it, it is it is we've seen not uh, a wild success last year. We had several food trucks sell out be early and leave because yeah. <laughs> because the, the, the crowd was so good. Yeah. Um, so we, we did really well last year. So let's go through the whole day. I know it starts off with the pancake breakfast mm -hmm. that the uh, Lutheran Church is putting on. Yep, that'll be right at the community center. Then the parade. Yep, which is. Parade starts at 10, okay. lineup starts at 9, so if you're in the parade, you're going to get a notice from us, but lineup starts at 9 on Broadway. Parade starts at 10 o'clock on, on the nose um, at the corner of Broadway and Glenside, and okay. we'll go Glenside to Roosevelt and back through Broadway. Big parade. People yep. love those. Let, let's hope so. Yep. And then after the parade, the uh, the food opens. Well, the food probably comes about 11, Yep. I think. And then we'll have the arts and crafts area and the kids area and all that kind of stuff going. Yep, we've uh, we've got a great arts and crafts vendor show. Uh, we have changed that around a little bit this year. Last year that was another thing that we had some growing pains with sure. was spot sizes and, and locations. Um, we're hoping we have a better location and, and better access to those crafters this year. Yeah. Um, so again, we're we're still experiencing some of those changes, but we think we're doing. Um, a little bit better than we did last year. We well, learned some lessons. So we still have some spots left for craft vendors. Okay. Um, we are allowing those applications up to a week before the event. Cool. So we, we expect to get some more, especially if the weather looks good. Yeah. So nice. if you're you're interested in being part of it, um, we'd certainly like to have you. And uh, you can go on our website, the link which will follow, and um, sign up right there. What should we, we should we should get an arts and crafts booth going? What can we make? You and me in our spare time because we've got so much of it. 
<laughs> I've always wanted to do balloon animals. I think we, I think we can do some balloon animals. That'd be awesome. Yep. So yeah, I could make snakes. Yep. It'll complement we'll our face. Big scary yep. snake. <laughs> It'll complement our face painters. We'll do yeah, face really. paint and balloon animals. So this is free for anybody that wants to come in. I mean, there's no admission for the music. There's no admission for the the food vendors and all that. The food's fairly priced. Yeah. I mean, they're not killing you on the cost or any of that kind of stuff. Um, entertainment's free. The candy cannon from Lewis's Farm Market shoots at five o'clock. That's mm -hmm. free. Um, yeah, we'll have uh, giant inflatable obstacle courses. We'll have kids games, uh, face painting, all of it free yeah. for the, the kids and families. That was one of our big things was um, to keep this a, a family oriented event. And yeah. so we're gonna do so to, to help any way we can and, and cover all the costs for the kids stuff. Sure, and you mentioned too that there's some sponsors. Talk about some of the bigger sponsors that are helping pull this off. We do, um, we have two platinum sponsors or, or two of our major sponsors right now. One is CWC Textron who has been a corporate sponsor with us I think since day one. Sure. Um, they have been here to help us. They every year help sponsor this and are our big donor. Um, we have Lake Michigan Credit Union, um, Huntington Bank is new a building big going up right We have yeah. a, a new Lake Michigan Credit Union branch. Huntington Bank has been a, a good partner for a long time. Shoreline Insurance right here in Roosevelt yep. Park. Um, we, we have a handful of, of great long-term donors for this program. We love that. So. Great stuff. It's Roosevelt Park Day. It's coming up on September 8th. It's a Saturday. It's going to go all day long. Start with that pancake breakfast. Enjoy the parade. Come on out for the food trucks and enjoy the music, all that stuff. Anything else you want to tell us about Roosevelt Park before? That's it. Be ready to have fun all day. September 8th. We'll see you there. All the links are right here on Positively Muskegon.